to the wino farmer today we will be installing an arkin ep5 5 by 25 by 56 onto my bergara 308 first let's look and see what will come into the package uh these are the lens covers the scope rings i got this all in one package from arkin up the box you have a level now i've already unpackaged this once and i've just placed it all back to the box just to give you an idea of what all was in the box you have a ring that goes around the uh, magnification of your scope you have allen wrenches a cleaning pad you also have another box that comes, another package, uh, rather, that comes with a battery in it that you uh, place inside of your scope. Let me open up the scope. First thing that I did is I placed my battery into the side here. You just put it in and then Pull it back up. First thing I'm going to do is place my level. Use one of the Allen wrenches that it that it was supplied with the uh, with your purchase, and go ahead and take take it all the way apart. Okay, and also go ahead and slide it off the end. This just slides on and off right there. And then you want to take your scope and you want to place it right around there. And now just loosely tighten the, it down so we can get it level. Let me get this tightened down and then we will it's just getting it level. I've actually got it on backwards. So I want to turn this around to where this side is up. So bear with me while I change it. All right. So now I want you to see how I'm going to make sure that the scope is level. If you place it on a level surface, so when you pull this over, it stops. That makes sure that it's level. And you see that we're off by a little high. So now we want to raise the level up until we get it in the center. Well, I'm going to get this in the center at the, where I have it placed right now. There we go. I'm gonna tighten this up and then we will go to the next step. Okay, here you see where we have it level. So now I'm going to install the ring that goes around the uh, magnification. You don't have to add this if you don't want. I'm kind of coming to box and I've never used one before, so I want to try it. But it has the same way that the uh, level went on as well. You slide that part off and we're gonna take this screw out right here. So give me just a second and I'll get that done. Okay, so now we're gonna place the ring over the scope. So we're gonna take it and slide it through here and around. Place it back down on the counter. 
Thank you, Rain. Slide it into position. And then we will place the screw and tighten it down. Now you want to leave this loose. You don't want to tighten it all the way until you can get it in position to where you would like for it to be. I like mine there, down on the edge. So I'm going to tighten it from there and finish tightening it rather. And then we will see what the range of motion is with it. So you see it's on five. And it stops on pretty much 180 degrees out, which is kind of what I wanted. All right, let's go on to the next step, which is going to be putting the rings on the rifle. I should mention the first thing you want to do is make sure that your gun is unloaded. I removed the bolt and there's nothing in the chamber. Okay, so I've taken the rings apart and I've got the writing facing towards myself. And if you look, there is an arrow on the top of the rings and we're gonna have them facing down the barrel. So let me get these rings placed on. I'm gonna just put them on loosely. So when I put my scope on, I can adjust it to get it centered the way that I like. So now I'm going to loosen. Sides. Now I'm going to put them on the rifle. There's one. There's the others. And there's two. Okay, you wanna be very careful with this part because you do not want your scope to off balance your stand and fall over. So I have had that happen before. That's why I'm saying this is not the best setup to install your scope, but it is what I have to do, have to, have to work with at the moment. And so that's what I'm using. I like the spacing that I have between the front and back. So I'm going to go ahead and put the top. I'm going to tighten the sides down actually. Now remember what I said about the arrow? I'm going to place it going forward. Okay, so before I tighten anything here, I'm going to make sure that my scope is level. So I twist it until the bubble is in the center. And at that point, I want to tighten down the bolts on the top. I will do one on each side, crossing them over when I tighten. And it says these are only supposed to be torqued to, I think it said 18 foot pounds. I don't have a torque wrench, but I'm not going to just continue to tighten. I'm going to get them very, very snug. Okay, so now I just want to verify, sorry about that, that my gun is still level. If you see, it is low. So now I will continue to tighten down all four screws. Okay, and the scope is still low. Awesome. So now the lens cover. Just, they just slide on. That's all that they do. Put the front cover on. Start at the bottom. Hold your gun at the back. 
and work it over the top. Okay. And now I like to look down and make sure that my covers are upright in line. And they are. And that's it. I'm going to just go back over, make sure everything is good and snug. And then I'm going to side it in. And Okay, if you look, I don't know if you can see it. My rings are not flush with the base. You must make sure your rings are flush with your bases. What I had to do was loosen the screws up on each side of the uh, rings to where it would fit smoothly across the bases. Then I had to re-loosen the screws up on the top of the rings in order to rotate my scope for it to be level. Once I got the scope level, I tightened the uh, screws back down on the rings. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you will, like and subscribe. I like to do a lot of cooking. So I have some cooking videos. I have some trapping videos. I like to trap bobcats, coyotes. I even trap some raccoons and the possums. Uh, make a lot of homemade wine. So I have a lot of wine videos coming soon.